At this point, our uh, template is now printed out. And this is the part that's going to be the inside. And this is going to be the outside. Um, so I got a hobby knife and I can start cutting this one out. Um, and I want to remember to cut on this circle instead of going to the point. And I'll cut this one. Okay, and then for the straight edges, I'm going to use a, a ruler. So there's that piece. Um, now before we um, glue it up, I want to pre-curl it. So I'll just roll it into a cone like this. And you really want to spend a lot of time making sure that that tip is as smooth as you can make it and as tight as you can make it. Now, if you're having troubles with that tip, you can take a dowel, and I just have here a part of a, a launch rod, and I can kind of roll a, that tip around that edge. See, I'm kind of pushing down on it as I'm rolling. Okay. And then I want to test roll it together, and I'm going to make sure that uh, the lines line up like that. And if it doesn't want to go, just keep rolling that tip because it, 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 it's the tip that's the hard part. If it wasn't for the tip, this would be easy. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take and kind of cut this tip at a little bit of a diagonal just in case that that edge wants to stick out. Okay, get that off of there. All right. All right. Now I'm going to take some uh, wood glue, and I've got this little squeegee applicator, and I really like this. And I've thinned out my glue a little bit because I want a little bit of working time. So, you know, that's way too much glue, so I'm just going to spread it out with the tip. If you have extra. You know, have some paper towels around. And then I want to take my transition and kind of kind of overlap it and kind of let push this side this side down a little bit and then let it spring up along the line. Now, we've got a video on our, the Apogee website about making transition sections. Um, and in that one, we do this same technique. Okay, yeah, this one, this is turning out really good. <laughs> I must have been practicing. It does take a little bit of practice. So, you know, you might want to print up a, a few extra sheets of paper. And you might want to take your tube coupler also and just double check to make sure that it fits into the bottom of it like that. And this one fits just fine. And at this point, you want to let this dry completely. Um, so I'm going to stick that off to the side and I'll start cutting out the other part. Um, now on this one here, um, I want to cut along this outside circle. Remember I said make it about a sixteenth of an inch wider. Um, so I'll start cutting there. And then, okay, now this was the overlap. Um, from when I duplicated the top part and brought it down. Um, I don't need that overlap. So 
I want to get just that pizza wedge. And remember, go all the way out past the circle and bring it down through. Do the same with the other side. All right, so now I just got my pizza wedge. And then as before, we need to pre-curl this. Try to make it so that when we lay it down, it wants to lay flat. And again, it's always the tip that we're worried about. That's the hard part. Okay. Now this is the one I just made. I, I previously made one earlier and this one's completely dry. So this is the one I'm going to use. Um, take your sheet of paper and I'm just going to lay it over the top. And I'm going to put, I'm going to smear glue on this. And this is another reason why you want to um, thin out your glue a little bit with water is because when you spread it out, you don't want to leave any high, you know, thick spots in the glue. You want it nice and thin. Um, and then if it's, if it's pretty watery, um, it will smooth out easier. So just kind of slide all that glue off. Just leave a thin film on there. Okay, and then remember, we on our pattern we had a line. Try to get all the glue off your finger on this, because otherwise the glue is going to get on the outside of the transition. Now I'm going to take the edge here and line it up. That overlap, that's going to be along the bottom here. And I'm just going to bring it up the two or up the cone like this, so that it lays right along that line. And then I'm going to slowly just roll it around like that. And the reason for that line is so that um, where that original inside transition was, it's going to leave a little hump, and I don't want double humps. Um, so this way, it will lay over the edge. And if it goes around too far, that's okay. Just press it down. And again, it's the tip. Now the tip, um, it's got a little gap, so kind of try to work that closed. And because it, there's water in the paper, the, water, the paper is pretty flexible at this point. Don't try to force it. Um, just, just let the glue dry. Um, and then we'll, we'll come back later and we can fix it. So here we go. Let's see if I can, you can see this better. There's just a tiny little gap here, but that's okay. We're going to let this completely dry before we do anything else. And through the magic of video, I happen to have one.